What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, John. I went and saw Rambo Last Blood the other night, and I figured I'd drop a quick video and tell you guys a bit about it. Look, I know that the critics are going to completely annihilate this movie, but let me tell you something. It was great. Ignore the critics. This movie certainly isn't going to win Sly any Academy Awards, but it was absolutely every bit as entertaining as any First Blood movie has ever been. One thing that I thought was really clever that Stallone did in this movie was he is about 70 years old, so he portrayed Rambo as an older gentleman in this movie. I can only hope that I'm moving around half as well as Stallone is when I'm 70 years old. For 70 years old, he looks fantastic. Towards the end of the movie, he's running up and down tunnels, and he looks far better than any 70-year-old that I've ever seen in my life. You can tell that he's got kind of a bad wig on in this movie, but regardless of how well of shape you keep yourself in, you can't change your genetics. The movie's got a pretty simple premise, but he carries it out flawlessly. Look, this is a Rambo movie. We're not looking for a whole lot of stellar acting or depth of character or backstory. We're looking for blood and guts and explosions, and this movie delivers on all three of those. It checks every box that you're looking for in a Rambo movie. The movie's about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes, and I'd say the first hour and 15 minutes is a lot of build-up to the climax of this movie. The last 30 minutes of this movie is just outstanding. It's non-stop action. It's blood and guts and violence. Brutal violence. The only spoiler that I'll say in this video is that there's a scene where Stallone actually tears out someone's collarbone, and you see all of it. It's awesome. It looks fantastic. The practical makeup in this is, is, is next level compared to most movies you see today. Of course, there's CGI in the movie, but the practical effects are noteworthy in this. The production was great. The editing was great. The casting was great. Everybody was pretty convincible in the movie. I was a really big fan of the last Rambo movie that came out when he was over in Burma to rescue those doctors. And this movie was along the same lines of that. It was just brutally violent in parts. It was filmed very similarly, had a very similar look and feel to it. Th those two movies stand out as being much different as the first three First Blood movies, First Blood Rambo. I thought all five of the Rambo movies were pretty good. I guess if I had to pick one clunker, it would be the third one, which was First Blood 3, Rambo 2. I, I wasn't real, big, real high on that one. The first one's probably still my favorite. Then the... Fourth one is probably my second favorite, then the fifth one, then the second one, then the third one. But they were all pretty good in their own right. If you like Stallone, and you like Rambo, and you like violence and blood and guts and action, you gotta go see this movie. It was fantastic. So don't pay any attention to what the critics are telling you. If you're a fan of the other First Blood movies, you're not going to be let down at all by this. If you're a Sylvester Stallone fan, this is just another example of what Sylvester Stallone does. He just makes rock-solid movies. This movie was fantastic. It was entertaining from start to finish. I actually may wind up going to see this movie again with my son. All right, that's the end of the video. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you really like what you see, subscribe to my channel. If you went and saw First Blood, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. And never, ever forget. They drew first blood.